Wait, Logan Paul and KSI have an original prime energy drink? Yeah, that's old news. Where have you been? No, like an original prime energy drink. Like, that's the new news. It's an original flavor. What? An original flavor? What would, like, like what would, what would an original, what would an original prime flavor taste like? Like the sweat from Logan Paul and KSI when they had their boxing match or something? I mean, come on. Well, it might taste like that. Who knows? I guess there's only one way to find out. Hey everyone, Caffeine Man here, and Prime has an original flavor out. What does that even mean? It means that they actually have it's an original flavor. Not all energy drink companies have an original flavor, but some do. And it's odd though that they're releasing it now because usually you release your original flavor uh, when you come out with your company and then you make additional flavors on top of that. And now after the fact, they're coming out with an original energy drink. Now, I'm not sure why. Did, did they not have an original flavor planned? And then and with the success of Prime, they decided, well, why not make an original flavor? Or did they have it planned and it just wasn't perfected in time to release it? So they released the other flavors first. Whatever the case is, we are here to solve those mysteries today. Prime Energy was actually kind enough to send me this drink in exchange for an honest review. So a huge shout out and thank you to Prime Energy. I really do appreciate it. In my opinion, there aren't really a ton of great original flavors, but it could be because it's not a preferred caffeine man flavor. Flavor. I really prefer lots of other types of flavors, but there are people who like the original energy drink, so it's going to be interesting to see what they did with this one. So as you guys know, you got to drink your energy drinks cold, so I am just going to grab it from my Caffeine Man fridge. Not only do I have a Caffeine Man fridge, but I also have a Caffeine Man website. That's right. You can go to CaffeineMan1.com to find out how to save money on energy drinks with my coupon codes, as well as sign up for a newsletter going over what I went over last week and what will be coming up next week, all at Caffeine man1.com. Let's take a look at that can. Here's the can. Had to get that thumbnail for you guys. Let me know in the comments down below how you feel about the new thumbnails. I've basically just been taking screenshots to show you the can. When it comes to review channels, that's really all people need to know. But I'm curious what you guys think about the changes. And if you don't like it, well, I'm sorry to say, uh, the analytics numbers do not lie. If you actually look at my last 10 videos, you will see that the three videos that I had just the thumbnail from the video are actually my three highest viewed videos. So I'm hoping that you all enjoy this new style. I may mix in some creative ones from time to time, but why don't we go ahead and let's taste it out. These cans do have 200 milligrams of caffeine in them. If you want to know all of the stats on this drink and everything, and I mean everything, you need to know about Prime Energy, you can check out that video right there where I give you tons of information about this drink and who actually owns the company. Mostly clear cutter. It's interesting because they definitely didn't go with the original coloring of energy drinks, which most companies use some kind of caramel color or something. And I know that they don't want to use artificial colors in their drinks, but it is interesting that it has this somewhat cloudy color because it's not reminding me of an original energy drink flavor or color. It's really putting thoughts in my head of more of an Arctic feel, you know, your frost flavors, your citrusy kind of flavors. So it really makes me think maybe they're going more citrus than they are original energy drink flavor or your standard energy drink flavor, which usually copies Monster or Red Bull. But some companies do like to try and give you their own original flavor, such as uh, G Fuel has its own flavor to it. Jet Fuel has its own flavor to it. And numerous companies have their own base flavor so that you know it's their company. Let's see what Prime has given you for their original energy drink flavor and try and remember if it was in the other drinks too, because that's how original flavors usually work. Oh, let's taste it out. I gotta go in from the can. Didn't overly matter. Flavor is starting to stack a little bit, so I do have to have just a little bit more. All right, so uh, 
That was pretty interesting. It took me a little while to hone in on it because it's titled Original Flavor. Uh, they don't really tell you what it is. Like a lot of drinks, you know blue raspberry, you know strawberry watermelon, and you can try and pick out those flavors. But when you have original, it's sort of like a mystery flavor almost. But because it is an original flavor, it is sometimes hard to focus in on what the flavor is supposed to be because nobody knows what the original flavor Monster is. Nobody knows what the original flavor Red Bull is. They just know it's Red Bull. They just know it's Monster. And you just need to know that this is the prime flavor. But when we go ahead and take a look at the carbonation, I would say that you're getting a medium carbonation out of here. It does have a little more like fizziness to it, but for the overall carbonation, it does seem to be a little bit smoother than most of those other companies that go a little higher. And because of that, it's giving you a little bit more of a refreshing flavor. As for your sweetness, I would say that the sweetness is, oh, it's hard. I was trying to focus on the flavor before, so I'm really trying to get that sweetness now. I would say that it is a medium to high sweetness. Closing in on high, I really thought it was going to hit that high mark, that low level of high, but it didn't. It stayed on that medium to high. From that handy dandy little chart, hopefully that explains a little bit clearer what I'm talking about when I say medium to high, closing in on high. For your flavor profile, uh, I think you are hitting that high mark, but I do think it is on the low end of high. And for that actual flavor, uh, I was thrown off when it said original flavor because I thought they were gonna go with more of your standard energy drink flavor, and they didn't. They actually, when I saw the color of it, and I said, oh, it looks like it's going more Arctic. It is going more Arctic, and boom, look, it's a white can, just like in what's your most common Arctic or citrus kind of flavor. Your Arctics are kind of citrus with a little bit of coolness to them. I relate it to the Monster White. There are different opinions as to what the Monster White is. Some people are trying to convince me grapefruit and I say, no way, grapefruit's never successful. But grapefruit does have a citrusy feel to it. And these white drinks usually have a citrus vibe to them with a little bit of Arctic frost coming in, a little bit of a cooling flavor, just something a little bit different to give it that icy kind of flavor. And that's what they're doing with this Prime Original. It's not completely unheard of. Uh, 3D had a 3D white, which was a similar kind of citrusy flavor. And even Adrenaline Shock, when they came out with their original line, they came out with like eight or 10 flavors. And their original flavor was called Original. And it was also much more of a citrusy kind of flavor. And not just lemon, lime, citrus. I'm talking that overall general citrus, which mixes in a little bit of all the different citruses. But it doesn't taste overly acidic because they balance it out with some sweetness. And like I said, they add that Arctic kind of flavor. If you guys have had any Arctics or frosts or glaciers, you know what I'm talking about. And that's definitely the feel that they're going for with this drink. So I was planning on putting it on the Caffeine Man rating chart and putting it up against all the originals that are there. But those are your original standard energy drinks. And, and this doesn't fall into that category. Uh, just because they're calling it original doesn't mean it's, it's like those. It's not. So I'm going to turn around and change that chart out of there. Get out of there. <laughs> Let's put up the frost chart, the Arctic chart that I have. That way we can get a fair comparison to all the other Arctic frost flavors. It took me a little while to figure out what the flavor was because I don't think that this is as strong as a lot of the other Arctics out there, a lot of the other frosts out there. And maybe they lightened it up a little bit because they didn't want to make it exactly like those. They wanted to give it a little bit of a lighter feel to it, or they just didn't want it to be a heavily strong flavor. But in doing that, they made it to be a more refreshing flavor. I actually kind of enjoyed it because it was a refreshing vibe to it. So where am I going to be putting on the Caffeine Man Rain chart? I'm going to give this a solid 8.6. I think it's a really good flavor and it would probably, if they gave you just a little bit more flavor, I really think it probably could have beat out some of those other ones above it, but the ones above it have a stronger, more solid flavor. So the Prime Original doing a great job at an 8.6. Thank you again to Prime for sending me these drinks. I really do appreciate it. If you want to know everything there is to know about Prime Energy, you can check out that video right there. Very extensive video. If you want to know some of my favorite drinks, you can actually check out that playlist where I go over my top 10 and top 20 flavors. Coming up soon, I'm going to be adding to that playlist because it is my five-year anniversary. Hope you can check out that video when it's released. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have yourselves a great day. Or night.